Dear students, in the last lecture we had studied endoplasmic reticulum and I'll give you a quick revision of endoplasmic reticulum, reticulum that it was discovered by Porter, Claude and Fulham and it is uh, the paroxysm they, arises, uh, they arise from endoplasmic reticulum. Endoplasmic reticulum is engaged in protein synthesis and lipid metabolism. If you wish to identify the endoplasmic uh, reticulum membrane then you will invariably cite glucose 6-phosphatase which is the marker enzyme of this organelle. Uh, significance of uh, membrane bound system there is a uh, value uh, added to uh, the presence of membrane bound cytoplasm it localizes enzyme maintains ionic and pH gradients creates diffusion barriers and it creates potential difference in the membrane so and uh, as far as types of endoplasmic reticulum we have come across two kinds smooth endoplasmic reticulum and rough endoplasmic reticulum the smooth endoplasmic reticulum has had ha, have different functions to perform they are involved in secretion and synthesis of steroids and glucose metabolism along with lip, glycogen metabolism i uh, i'm sorry and lipid synthesis then one more vital function performed by the smooth endoplasmic reticulum is rough endopla uh, is uh, cellular detoxification another kind of uh, uh, endoplasmic reticulum which is present is called as rough endoplasmic reticulum they are, they have a rough appearance because of uh, uh, countless number of ribosomes they remain attached to the membrane outside the endoplasmic reticulum and they are involved in protein synthesis because the ribosomes they do synthesize proteins then come the structural organization vesicles cisterni and tubules these are the three physical forms in which the endoplasmic reticulum manifests itself vesicles are rounded spherical and ovoid and synthesized uh, present mainly in cells which are active in protein synthesis <clears throat> cisterni they are unbranched elongated flattened sac like they are also present in cells which are busy in protein synthesis and tubules they are branched <clears throat> and they are found in the cells which are actively engaged in steroid synthesis if you go to the ultrastructure of the cells their membrane is thinner than plasma membrane and also its fluidity is less then we had studied a bit of chemical nature then uh, we had studied some functions like intracellular impulse conduction by ER uh, intracellular transport is affected by endoplasmic reticulum they are the sites of ATP synthesis uh, protein synthesis uh, stores the protein synthesized then lipid synthesis by SER then glycogen metabolism or glycogenolysis is performed by smooth uh, endoplasmic reticulum cellular detoxification by smooth endoplasmic reticulum then mechanical sp support is provided by the endoplasmic reticulum to the cellular matrix then uh, other important functions are creation of osmotic pressure within the cells and uh, ionic gradients then uh, they are the seat of differentiation of uh, Golgi and nuclear membrane then peroxisomes which are uh, peroxidase enzyme rich uh, bodies uh, also differentiates from um, endoplasmic reticulum Synthesis of glyceride, phospholipids, triglycerides, glycolipids done in endoplasmic reticulum along with many uh, reactions like deamination, hydroxylation, oxidation and aromatization takes place in endoplasmic reticulum. Two theories were put forth for biogenesis of endoplasmic reticulum, one from nuclear membrane, another from annulate lamellae. then uh, um, today we are going to uh, study girl system 
what is this girl system uh, g stands for gamma cytomembranes e stands for alpha cytomembranes uh, and l for lysosome plasma membrane is considered as beta cytomembranes one scientist named watson demonstrated continuity between outer nuclear membrane and endoplasmic reticulum and has tried to establish an interrelationship between these membranes he said that new nucle from nucleus uh, annulate lamellae arises then from annulate lamellae endoplasmic reticulum is formed as i have told you in previous lecture through blabbing from uh, these blabs uh, golgi complex get uh, constituted then from golgi complex the membrane flows to the plasma membrane this is termed as membrane flow or girl system then uh, there are uh, another bodies which are present in the cell which are called as microsomes and how they are artificially prepared uh, whenever a liver homogenate is subjected to differential centrifugation the pellet which settles at the bottom of the tube is known as microsomal fractions and uh, which uh, supposedly contains the bodies which are termed as microsomes this fraction is heterogeneous and composed of rough endoplasmic reticulum smooth endoplasmic reticulum golgi membranes and some isolated ribosomes they contain the microsome they contain enzymes such as glucose 6 phosphatase tyrase NADA cytochrome C reductase Mg activated reductase inosine diphosphatase uridine and guanosine so students uh, now we will study another important organelle which is called as golgi complex it was first of all observed by camillo golgi when he stained the cell with uh, silver nitrate and the cell in which he had discovered this organelle was barn owl's nerve cell uh the marker enzyme of golgi complex is glycosyl transferase and they are also termed as gamma cytomembranes as i have told you in girl system the marker enzyme of golgi membrane as i have told you is glycosyl transferase that of endoplasmic reticulum is glucose 6 phosphatase and that of plasma membrane is 5 nucleotidase in peroxisome you come across uric acid oxidase so uh as far as their occurrence is concerned they are absent in prokaryotes present in all the eukaryotes occurs between nucleus and the secretory pore of the cell however the secretory pores they are not static they are <clears throat> found in abundance in thyroid pancreas mucous cells and wherever they present they are surrounded by zone of clear cytoplasm that is it and the cytoplasm in the near vicinity uh, has doesn't have uh, any ribosome or glycogen particles or any other mitochondria any other organelles like mitochondria such uh, a zone is termed as zone of exclusion then uh they as far as their structure is concerned they uh, they occur in three four forms first of all uh, flattened sac like cisterni which are separated by intercisternal space of around 220 to 30 nanometer 
and cisternae they are double membrane structure enclosing a space of about 200 angstrom arranged parallel and if you see your book the convex surface uh, faces towards nuclear envelope or endoplasmic reticulum which is the convex surface is also called as cis surface whereas the conve concave surface which is also termed as M face uh, faces towards plasma membrane. These cisterni they are created by coalescence of vesicles which originates from endoplasmic reticulum. Then we have transition vesicles which are around 400 to 800 angstrom associated with forming face of Golgi uh, which is the convex face, face as I have told you these get detached from the cisterni of endoplasmic reticulum. Then around 600 angstrom size large vacuoles are present on the maturing phase. Then small secretory vesicles on the maturing phase of the Golgi. Uh, they tend to get uh, converted into zymogen granules at the M phase. And now you can view in your slide how does Golgi body they look like. At the top you see proximal phase which is also called as cis phase also called as forming phase. Here the vesicles which are budded off by endoplasmic reticulum they coalesce to form cisterni and creating cisternal membranes and how do we come to know that the membrane it flows be radio label with 3H leucine. Then uh, cisterni are created by vesicles budded off from ER. Then membrane flows. The transition vesicles formed as blabs from endoplasmic reticulum and they migrate towards the uh, maturing phase, uh, M phase. Then ultimately at the concave phase which is also called as maturing phase the secretory vesicles they blab off and uh, this is the structure uh, then ultimately these vesicles they uh, may be uh, causing exocytosis or may convert get convert into rhizosomes. So as far as the thickness of the membrane is concerned it keeps on increasing from SR, SER to Golgi to plasma membrane. If we, if we see the chemical organization of uh, Golgi bodies uh, and uh, they are intermediate they fall in um, intermediate between ER and plasma membrane uh, as far as chemical composition is concerned the carbohydrates which are found in these uh, membranes is gl gl glucosamine mannose fructose galactose and enzymes are ATPs ADPs cytochrome C reductase glycosyl transferase galactosyl transferase and thymine pyrophosphates. 5 dash nucleotidase activity is lower. Uh, glucose 6 uh, phosphate is wanting in this and acyl transferase is absent. The electron transport chain of Golgi has cytochrome B5. Lac NADPS cytochrome C reductase and cytochrome P540. Then if we see the function of Golgi membranes, uh, the first is secretion. But the secretion takes place in a phased manner. The first step in the procedure of secretion is ribosomal stage. The second one is a cisternal stage. The third one is intracellular transport. Fourth one is concentration of the stored material. And 
the last one is exocytosis so these are the steps involved in secretion then uh, golgi they are also involved in synthesis and secretion of polysaccharide probably we will not be able to complete the functions of golgi membrane today in the next lecture we will continue with the functions of golgi membrane till then thank you very much